Welcome explorers! Very windy morning, it's 6 a.m. and I'm starting hike in Kuju Mountains. Looks like a pretty new construction. These ones are, you can see quite often in Japanese mountains, they're supposed to prevent from the landslide and uh, avalanche, which happening very often. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting now from the paved road towards here. I've been walking along some sort of a canyon created by water, I believe recently, must be this year rainy season which looks like about four or five meters deep look at this this huge tree was just on the way of that water spectacular i've been hiking in these mountains for many times and i can see lots of changes every single year lots of damage lots of damage and here's another example of the huge tree which was just here, right in the middle, on the way of the water, which was flowing down here with a huge impact. And here's another, it was just here and the land just slide. And then the place I'm standing right now, it could be possibly slide down anytime, to be honest. It looks phenomenal, especially this part here. Nice. Okay, let's keep going. Today is expected to be up to 36 degrees. Over there you can see that uh, there was also a massive landslide. All these rocks here come from that little here. Over there. I really like this area. All Kyushu trials so far looks amazing. Oh, and yet another place where you can see what the nature is able to do to create. These trees are falling down. Anytime they could uh, collapse down into that little canyon. It's a really gorgeous area these rocks and colors little statue here you can see them also quite often in Japanese mountains Wow, this is so beautiful. I really love this path. Spectacular, look at this. These rocks been here like for 
probably several hundreds of years or even millions maybe one day after the volcano erupted all these just form red like that and it's been here for generations centuries I should say all right it's beautiful really enjoy this path do I mention that already it looks like I'm approaching huge open space which uh, most likely was covered by uh, water recently and during the rain season I can see that yeah right now it's all dried off and there is some sort of a wooden path which I'm gonna follow right now for some time I believe oh it looks interesting and imagine if this whole area here is covered by water how cool so we are right in between the mountains right now beautiful quite strong wind which is uh, not of my favorite to be honest it helps to hike but it doesn't when you like to fly a drone it's an amazing place for camping in the middle of nowhere surrounded by mountains and this is the mountain if I'm lucky I, maybe I could be able to go today let's see it's a quite steep mountain very rocky and I heard that uh, there are so many landslides there never been here in this part of Kuji mountains which is great that means I'll get still plenty interesting areas to explore got to the crossroads you can see that uh, place where used to water walls and there's that path that wooden path I was walking to is that rocky mountain which uh, taken uh, lots of damage especially this year this season if I'll go here to the right there's a trial to another mountain if I continue this way there is guest house over there with the onsen it's the highest onsen in Kyushu actually located on 1300 something meters you can see down there the huge mountain right behind the onsen it's called Mimata it has five peaks this mountain is spectacular as spectacular as dangerous let's see You can see here the landslide uh, so the problem with this place is that the ground it keeps falling here the used, used to the path was a little bit down below but as you can see it's getting more and more dangerous and I've seen the pictures from this place from like uh, last month last week two days ago and even from yesterday and on every single picture that path is smaller and smaller and the land is keep sliding down here and as you can see it's pretty steep down here so you don't wanna slide here okay I need to get down there now and then very careful you see the, the path here is almost non-existing so you got to hang on to that bushes if you want to path the pass there otherwise it's a long way down okay you know what? I'm gonna try a different way this 
seems to be like a detour down this way. Whoa. That mountain over there is called Kaizen, one of my favorite mountains. I've been there several times, I'll go again in autumn. So here is the shortcut. It's not easy also, but uh, at least it's safer. Many people will go this way, the shortcut will become the main path. Uh, because here it's far too dangerous. As I was saying, this path it's just become almost not non-existing. Let's try. Somebody left the glasses here. There's a trial from uh, from the west, but it's actually even more difficult and steep. So I got to go this way. Uh. All right. Looks like I get over it. And now I need to join the path, like a little detour. Not the easiest hike, I have to say. I hope it will clear up by the time I get to the top, which is not that far away. This is not the time lapse, guys. This club is moving this fast, seriously. Wow. by this cloud with the rain let's try to hide here under that bush yeah nothing better than to get caught by the rain on a descent from the mountain I think we good I hide there under that bush and then yeah stop raining at least for for a while so for now, let's continue. Okay. So 
this is the shortcut I introduced today. Yeah, not going this way for sure. Show you what's up.